in this video i will introduce you with resistor transistor logic or rtl logic family rtl implies resistor transistor logic that means the logic circuits will be formed by using resistors and transistors rtl circuits use resistor as the input network that means we will apply the inputs a b and C at one end of the base resistor and the transistors are using as switching device for logical operation so the transistor will be either in saturation or in cutoff mode cutoff mode that means our transistor will be in fully off state and saturation that means our transistor will be in fully on state as the logic circuits are made of resistors and transistors so these circuits are known as resistor transistor logic circuits now i will show you some features of this rtl logic family first one is resistor transistor logic was used in the construction of the first digital integrated circuit first digital integrated circuit was made by using resistor transistor logic circuits second one is it requires minimum number of transistors see for the logical operation the circuit will use transistors as the circuit uses only resistors and transistors we will require minimum amount of transistor or minimum number of transistors it is a saturated logic that means our transistor will be either in off state or in cutoff mode or in on state if i apply a voltage greater than 0.7 volt our transistor will be in saturation if i apply any voltage less than 0.7 volt our transistor will be in off state or in cutoff mode fourth one is input variables are applied via base resistor of the transistors you will see in case of our rtl logic circuit we will connect a base resistor at the base terminal of the transistors and we will apply the logical inputs at one end of the base resistor this is what written here input variables are applied via base resistor of the transistors the values are so chosen so that the inputs would depending upon the voltage level either cut off or saturation of the transistor that means we will choose the value of rb such that depending upon the logical inputs our transistor will be either in on state or in saturation mode or in off state fourth one is the collector of the transistors are tied together with a common resistor to the vcc supply you will see for a two input rtl logic circuits we will use two transistors let's say this is a transistor and this is its collector terminal if i have another transistor and this is its collector terminal you will see the two the two collector terminals will be connected together and we will connect this collector terminal with a collector load rc and that rc will be connected with a power supply plus vcc which will be approximately 5 volt this is what written here sixth one is the circuit uses common emitter configuration of the transistor a transistor has three types of configuration common base common emitter and common collector the rtl logic circuits will use common emitter configuration of the transistor c for logic zero we will apply 0.2 volt logic 0 is defined by 0 volt and logic 1 is defined by 1 to 3.6 volt logic for logic 0 we will apply 0.2 volt and for logic 1 we will apply 1 to 3.6 volt and to define the voltage level we will define logic 0 with 0.2 volt and we will define logic 1 with 3.6 6 volt so this is these are the features of our rtl logic families now there are some disadvantages of this rtl logic families it has a large propagation delay therefore relatively slow speed 
सेकेंड वन इज लो फैन इन एंड फैन आउट and fan in and fan out will be 3 fan out is 3 that means it cannot drive more than 3 similar rtl logic gate and low fan in that means it cannot take more than 3 input logic at the input side of the logic gates poor noise immunity or no low noise margin low noise margin that means our noise margin will be very small therefore this rtl circuit will be affected by noise expensive since resistors are required to be fabricated when we use the fabrication technology if we have to fabricate the resistors fabrication of resistors in the digital ic will enhance the cost of the logic gates and see it cannot operate at speed above 4 mega hertz okay that's it thank you